<laughs> Sweet. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Hello, Skelevatorites, friends of Skelevator. Thanks so much for tuning in to watch this exciting video. So um, as you can see in this footage I'm showing you right now, um, I, the family and I were, we showed up at a Target uh, this morning and um, they are, aside from missing items from, you know, individual figures from recent Origins releases, um, the Point Dread Origins is here, um, but also they've got a bunch of Masterverse figures. So Ram Man, Clawful, this New Adventures Skeletor is available. Um, really exciting to see that the stock is there. Uh, but really my focus for today is for us to look, take a close look at New Adventures Skeletor. This is a figure uh, that I've been anticipating for quite a while. Um, I'm a huge fan of the of this particular design of this character. Um, I have him actually right up here, but we'll have a closer look at him in a little bit. The vintage one. Um, here are the numbers. Oops. Here are the numbers if you need them. Uh, but the artwork here is fantastic, and this is this is based on the vintage artwork, vintage card back art. Uh, but I love this guy. Let's get him open and uh, have a real close look. All right, let's get this super weird version of Skeletor out of the box. Um, there is tape on his cape, so just a little warning for you all. Unboxing him, unbox carefully. That tape can tear that very uh, flimsy cape. He comes with two extra fists, which is great for uh, posing and for photographs. Um, so I'm stoked about that. We're going to look at that helmet in a little bit. Let's get him out of that plastic and get a close look at this guy. Now, right out of the box, this guy is extremely impressive. I did happen to notice that where the thigh cut is, the black wash sort of stops right there. And there's sort of clean blue above that. That really doesn't bother me that much, but um, for people who are nitpicking, do keep an eye out for that when you are looking in uh, at the figure through the box before you purchase. Now, this head sculpt is one of my favorites. It's right up there, in my opinion, with the Alcala um, uh, face design. And you have the sort of the techno skeletor elements in the back of his head. By the way, just a side note, I was really hoping that this would be the version that we would see in Revolution coming out, um, Motu Revolution. But um, look at the look at this. You can see the sort of H.R. Uh, Geiger inspired um, biomechanical elements of this character's body. As I've grown to appreciate that character later on in life, um, but this figure really emphasizes all of those super weird elements that I, I love. Um, everything about this guy is fantastic. The helmet, in fact, too, looks like, it really, I mean, to be honest with you, looks like a, a larger sort of replica of the vintage toy helmet. So I'm really stoked about that. It just looks a little bit more realistic and, and I couldn't be happier. And the Havoc staff, as you'll see, I'm gonna compare it to the Classics version. It's a little more sleek in its design and I do, I do like that um, as well. There are no paint applications on the Havoc staff, but that's perfectly fine in my opinion. Um, so let's have, let's have a look at his size. So this Skeletor is particularly tall. I'm standing him next to the sort of what we thought of as a giant beast man, New Eternia beast man. And this Skeletor is just a little bit taller than that beast man. He's definitely taller than the New Eternia Skeletor. And of course he's, you know, I just wanted to show the Alcala inspired um, Skeletor origins head. And I wanted to trade these parts out because I really think this is a fun aspect of the origins and masterverse lines look i can even put the the cape on these this origins uh skeletor and give him the masterverse head um this new adventures skeletor just adds to the versatility of my collection and i absolutely love him um, he's fantastic now let's see him alongside his vintage counterpart so i do not own a cape 
a Havoc staff or a helmet for my vintage version of this new adventure Skeletor. But so I wanted to take away those elements on the modern version, but they look fantastic next to each other. The inspiration is definitely there and they really paid very close attention to the details and emphasize those details in this Masterverse figure. Now let's have a close look at this Masterverse New Adventures Skeletor next to the Classics New Adventures Skeletor. Uh, as you can see, the details and the bulk of the Classics version is not present in the Masterverse version. Um, but honestly, aside from the flimsiness of the cape, <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a fun aspect of this. I'm very, very pleased with the Masterverse uh, version of this new adventure Skeletor. The details that are present in the Classics version are phenomenal. A lot of people didn't like the bulkiness of him, and I can understand why. This Masterverse version really emphasizes um, the, the toy version of him that came out and the cartoon version of him. So I couldn't be happier with this particular figure. Masterverse figures are just getting better and better. So as usual, folks, thank you so much for watching. Do click like and subscribe if you like these videos. Also make a comment down below. I love to see those comments and let your friends know about the Skelevator channel if you like what you're seeing here. If you're interested in becoming a patron, the link for the Patreon is right down below. And I want to send a special thank you to the Patreons of this channel. Um, Don Roberts, Julia Honer, Motu Origins Cork, Figuratively Speaking John, Thanos Copter, and Brick Something. Thank you so much for being patrons of this channel. I really appreciate you all. And finally, I just want to say a huge thank you to you for tuning in and watching this video. I really appreciate you showing up. And um, guess what? I'll see you in the next one.